This is my version of the Arduino GPS and the Altoid small Mint tin. So you'll see the case, it's not modified, closes. Inside is a GPS. I open the lid, it'll start getting the satellites. So five satellites. There's the rest of it. Focus. Yeah. So um, the date and time across the top, the number of satellites, the HDOC, the current coordinates, the elevation, and the speed and heading. Um, it's not going to show, show me heading right now because I'm not moving, but if I was moving it would tell me you know, the direction I'm moving. So I just want to go ahead and take this out. Um, I made this video, so hopefully it'll show you how to go about making your own if you're interested. hard to get out the case. So that's it um, on the inside of the case. Uh, it's a lot of electrical tape to uh, insulate everything. So on the front I've got a 128 by 32 Adafruit OLED and a Ultimate GPS. On the underneath I've got a 3 volt Pro Trinket with a battery pack. Um, there's a 110 110 milliamp battery right here that plugs into it. Um, normally you would um, solder the battery plate on top of the trinket but there's just not enough vertical room here so I have it just connected with wires going across and uh, also um, with the GPS you would normally have the battery bracket on the back to hold the coin cell there's just no room in here so I don't have one on there so that's pretty much it so the display on top GPS trinket on that side battery pack and then the battery sitting right there and then I've got an on off switch coming around here uh, that's pretty much the best I could do there's not a lot of space in there in that little tin so I want to go ahead and show you um, zoom in here a little bit what goes into making this this is the uh, GPS it's actually quite simple to build Put it on the board there, and that's the uh, 128 by 32 OLED screen. Put it right there, and then this is a similar circuit to what I have on the inside of that thing. It's um, this is the three volt Pro trinket with the battery plate, and I've got an on-off switch powered on. Uh, this is a bigger battery; is 400 milliamp in the, in the GPS. I've only got a 110. So I'm just going to seat that right there. So I'll ground the board. Ground. So it gives me the power. I'll just run the power to the GPS or the ground first. Then I'll put the power on the display. ground. Okay, so now the GPS. There's only two wire, two other wires going to it, so RX to number three. TX into number four. And then the display, I'm just going to go data to number 9, the clock to number 10, the 
me see. Eleven. The reset goes into number thirteen. And the CS goes into number twelve. And that should be it. And then I'll turn it on. So this one got a GPS signal right away because the GPS has got a battery in the back. So it doesn't, um, it'll, it'll get a satellite fix um, way faster than without the battery. Um, so just some advice if you're going to build something like this. Uh, the best sketch to start with is the, um, the example that comes with the Adafruit uh, Ultimate GPS. It's the parser, I believe. Um, it just the, the sketch listens to the, the signal that's coming from the GPS and just dis, uh, outputs it, and you can easily customize that to uh, um, get it displaying on an output. Um, yeah, so basically just the, what, I, what I did to get this sketch working was I took the example from the GPS and worked in some of the example code from that guy and uh, started to um, get it working. As far as the, the hardware goes, I've had, it's been working great, but I've had some issues. You'll notice it was kind of hard to take it out of this case. Um, I need to charge it to actually get to charge the, the, the battery. I've got to take it out of the case and plug a USB cable right in there. Um, what I was thinking of, if I build another one of these, I think I would put it in, uh, a full-size mint tin if it's a mint tin at all but it's kind of neat um, you can uh, I'm just going to show you what this stuff how this stuff fits for sizing so I thought it was to take I could put this display here I've got another spare trinket um, I guess the, the the most important thing is to to be able to get enough space to slide a, um, a USB cable directly into it if you wanted to do that, or you could cut a hole on the outside, so then there's plenty of room for the GPS right here. Uh, you could put a big battery on the back. Um, you could probably put a rocker switch mounted on the side like this. Um, I'm not. If I was to build another one, I'm not sure if I would put it in the little tin. I'd probably put it in the bigger tin. Um, so that's my video. Um, hopefully, this will give you enough information to go make your own. Thank you very much.